Hey winos and welcome back to my channel, Marissa Renee. Thank you for watching. If you are new here, please, 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 please like and subscribe, click the notification bells and share with your friends or anybody who loves wine. Um, also follow my social media, which is here. It will also be down low in the description box. So today for my first review on the new channel, I am reviewing a wine that I've done in the past, but it's brand new to the Marissa and Renee channel. It is a Pothic Inferno. It is literally my favorite wine. Let's just get right into it. So this wine, it's described as a bold, dark fruit, maple, and spice. The best thing what I love about this wine is it is 15.9% alcohol, which if you're a wine drinker is a lot. Most wines have like about eight. So there's a lot higher alcohol content in this because it is a red blend aged in whiskey barrels. I, those are my favorites. Anyone that's aged in whiskey, bourbon, scotch, anyone aged in a liquor barrel are obviously stronger because you have the leftovers that are, if they're wooden barrels so it kind of seeps in so you have the leftover of that and it really gives a really great taste and definitely changes the new like the flavor of the wine and really gives it a really distinct flavor so yeah let's just get into it so let's just read what the description says so is it's been aged in the whiskey barrels like i said for 60 days um, it's a red blend emerges from the flames of a time-honored craft creating a most unexpected and masterful encounter this wine has been aged for 60 days like i said before in whiskey barrels creating notes of red and dark fruit that combine with layers of maple and spice and, and give way to a long clean finish so there's a couple things that i do when i review wine the first one is the color i can pretty much especially with red wines i can tell by the color if i'm gonna like it or not I personally like really bold wines, so really deep color, rich reds, or see more like maroon. I can pretty much tell if it's lighter, it's not as bold for me, and I personally, like I said, I love bold wines. And of course, I'm using my favorite wine glass from the dollar store. They're great, and when I tell you these things are indestructible, if you have children, I've had nice wine glasses, I've had name brand wine glasses, and they break, in the dishwasher or just when you're washing them these if you have children especially you can throw them and they're not going to break so i highly suggest just for your everyday wine to invest a dollar to these lovely wine glasses and not to mention they hold a pretty nice amount get your dollar tree wine glasses so let's go let's pour the wine my favorite part of the day oh oh my god Oh, I can already smell the whiskey. And if you're entertaining, especially like people who like whiskey, this is a good transition. This is definitely not a starter wine. So if you're not a red wine drinker, don't start with this because this is very, it's a very acquired taste. It's very strong. It's not sweet. Again, I do not like sweet wine at all. But this, like I said, is my favorite. So let's start off with the smell. Smells like honestly heaven in a bottle, but that's just me because I love this. But I can smell, I smell for the fruit. I smell cherry. I pretty much just smell cherries, honestly. I can definitely, like I said, it's giving me the really strong whiskey barrel. So it's very really like woody and deep. I can smell that as well. So let's taste it so the proper way i went to a wine tasting i was taught the proper way to taste so you take a sip and then you just want to go like this and that separates the wine from the alcohol so you can really taste what it tastes like it's a little hard to do but you have to just sip a little i'm going to try to demonstrate as best as i can but here we go mm. When, I, when you do that, you can really taste the maple. Like, it's not sweet maple, but, like, the deepness of the maple. But it's so good. Oh, God. Mm. I know I keep saying this, but this is honestly my favorite one. But um, back to the review. So, I did, it was on sale. I did purchase this at, at Publix, which is, if you're not in Atlanta 
or where they have Publix. It's a grocery store. It was $12.99. I have seen it at Walgreens. Um, I'm originally from Connecticut. They do not sell wine at Walgreens or like CVS or anything. But like down here they do. I've seen it at Walgreens, all your grocery stores, most like package stores or liquor stores have it. it I've seen it anywhere as cheap as $10.99, but I've also seen it on the higher end for $15.99. I got this bottle for $12.99, so it's definitely budget friendly. Honestly, especially if you're a lightweight, not like myself, but one glass will get you there, okay? One glass will do its job. How does it compare to the description? I would honestly say it's pretty spot on. I dark fruits I didn't go to specifics what it tastes like but I told you I taste a lot of cherries and berries like really deep flavors I can definitely taste the wood from the whiskey barrels for sure spice oh definitely yeah if you have heartburn take your tums before just the tip okay and I will say on a scale of 1 to 10 this is up by far a 10 out of 10 would recommend this is again and I it's so biased but I have to just share it it's my favorite wine it's so good oh my god mm. I also wanted to start something new to what to pair it with I'm not big into wine pairing with food but I wanted to offer that for people who are only because I personally do not eat while I'm drinking I it's just even when if I'm out to dinner like I have wine but like I'll eat my food and have water so I can really taste the food I personally don't do that so because this is really smoky you want to make sure you're pairing it with something that has similar flavors so maybe something really smoky like grilled of course grilled red meats would be top tier like the best thing to pair it with but if you don't eat meat or red meat also can pair it with a barbecue so maybe like barbecue chicken because it has that spice and the depth and the barbecue sauce or of course which goes well is um, a red sauce pasta so any pasta with a red sauce if you have some meat in there that's even better so those are some things that pair that with this will go really nicely with if you're a person that wants to have a glass of wine with your food i really hope you like um this review please like subscribe and turn on notification bells for more and also again follow my social media i promise you, you will not be disappointed and stay tuned for my next video because I am going to enjoy this glass of wine. Cheers!